Hello YouTube land, I'm Eddie and this is Windy Therapy. This is my channel where I share motorcycle riding, camping and outdoor adventures. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys' time and support. So today we're going to be going over the Acaso 7 LE, my field trial. You guys probably seen my previous video where I show the unboxing and some details how this camera compares with some other ones. Uh, but now we're going to show you some footages and I'm going to highlight three things that I really liked and three things that I didn't. And at the end, I'll tell you which camera I just bought, which I believe is going to be a game changer for me. So, without further ado, let's give her. Number one, the price, right? As you guys can see, the price is hard to beat for an entry-level camera. And you now I believe for $139 US, no, no, it, you can't beat that price. So price is number one. Second, is the accessories now this kit comes with a lot of goodies and uh like again yeah, most cameras you don't get anything or you just get a charger a cable and that's it so the package is very good and third one is the battery life they say you should go from 45 to 60 minutes but i use the camera for more than an hour and i didn't lose any footages so let's go over the three negative things about this particular camera. Number one, the image stabilization is not as good as I hoped for. Unfortunately, Acaso decided to change the processor of this camera. So the final outcome ended up being worse than the previous model, which I believe was the V50X. Uh, I don't know why I decided to change it, but unfortunately for me, it didn't work. Now I'm gonna show you some footages you know, that I took with the camera on the top of my helmet uh, where you can see that I believe the image is not as stable as I was hoping for. Uh, it's kind of jerky. I believe the colors are not as sharp, but I'm gonna just shut up. I'm gonna let you guys just look the footage. You can make your own decision. The number two negative point is the battery charger cradle, right? I had cases where I put the battery in and I walked away. I thought, you know, the charger was working, but it wasn't. You really need to make sure you see the red light, uh, which will indicate, you no, know, the charger is actually working. Like I said, I had cases where I put two batteries in, I walked away and I came back, they were dead. And the third one, uh, I'm not really surprised, but no, it is something negative, is the remote control. It's pretty useless, to be honest, right? You're out and about in the sun, you can't see the red light, there's no noise, so you can't hear if it's on and off. So that's, that's a bad one for me, and I'm somewhat disappointed. But I knew it was a cheap remote control. So there you have it. So you're seeing the three positive, the three negatives, and where do I go from now? I just want to tell you that my next camera, which I just got it, which is the one I'm using right now, is the DJI Osmo Action Cam. I have to do more field trials, but I can tell you that so far seem to be an excellent camera. And, and I love a lot of different features that this camera has. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be another video, guys. I, I hope my Acaso 7LE review was pretty good. Again, it doesn't mean it's a bad camera, it's just bad for my application. So that's why I said it's a fail. Not because the camera is actually bad in general, but it's just bad for me. There you go. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing. Uh, and until next time, folks, please be good, be safe, and let's keep the rubber side down. Ciao.